Well, what's going on guys? In today's video, I really wanna talk about three big tips when it comes to late summer bass fishing. We're here in August and we're gonna be fishing in September soon. And this is really kind of the late summertime. And in late summer, it's just kind of different. And I just wanted to talk about that today. Now, before we get into the video, this one is brought to you by my apparel company, Fin Fishing. Right now, I am running a sale. If you buy any of my USA made sun shirts, any of them, you can actually get a free tri blend American bass t shirt. So, all you got to do is add the sun shirt that you like to cart, add the American bass, the size that you want to cart, and it will automatically discount at checkout. Supporting or shopping at Fin Fishing is truly the best way to help support this channel. And I greatly appreciate all of you guys who have bought in the past and who continue to buy. So thank you so much. All right, you have to forgive me because I'm staying at an Airbnb right now and there's some cows that, I don't know, they are just very loud right now. But I just got off the water and I really just wanted to talk about this late summer bass fishing because it's just different than a lot of other times throughout the year. And one of the biggest reasons is that the bass I've really started to succumb to the pressure. You know, like this time of the year, it seems like the bass are, they've been hit by pretty much every single bait out there. And so therefore, they tend to start acting a little bit differently. And there's three big things that I have learned that I kind of always try to apply to my, my late summer bass fishing that I think really helped me. Now, the first one is simply always keep moving always keep moving when you're out there on the water because even if you are around some fish like maybe you have forward facing sonar like a mega live or maybe you just know that you're in an area that has fish if you are not getting bit a lot of times you are just in an area where maybe this area has been hit recently by some other person or these fish have just really succumbed to the pressure and they're going to be very difficult to get to bite. Sure, you could kind of go through a lot of different baits and maybe try to figure it out. But a lot of times what I've found is that, you know, these bass are really going to bite one of two different things. And that actually brings me to the second thing that I want to talk about. So the first one is always just keep on moving. The second thing is in late summer, I really feel like there's two speeds at which you need to fish your baits. And that is one either really daggum slow, like as slow as you can, or really fast. Like there's no in between. Like I'm sure that there are lakes that you will go to that there's that in between. But in these really highly pressured bodies of water, I feel like you either gotta drag a bait so dang slow, like it is hard to fish, and that's how you're gonna get bit, or you have to cause a reaction strike. Because like I said, these fish have seen everything. And not only that, they have seen us, like a lot of us anglers tend to fish like our baits at the same speed. You know, we walk a spook at the same speed. We fish a chatterbait at the same speed, a crankbait, whatever it may be. So this time of the year, I've, I've talked about this in a couple of recent videos. I feel like there's just kind of a spectrum, you know, of speeds. And you either got to go really, really slow or you got to go really really fast you know today i was fishing a lake i'm actually in north carolina and it had to be fast now it had to be fast for a couple of different factors here at this particular body of water but you had to fish this bait so fast if you didn't fish it fast enough you were you were not going to get bit and i was using my mega live so i could see a lot of these fish and I would see how they would respond to my bait. And a lot of them would come up to that bait. They'd shoot up at that bait. And if I tried to slow it down, they would just, they would just veer off. And even if you are not using Mega Live or forward facing sonar, you still like, you, you may see fish following your bait or something that used to happen to me a lot before I had Mega Live during this time of the year is that I would cast my bait out. I'm dragging across the bottom, doing whatever. And then I go to reel it up. And as I'm reeling it back to the boat, bam, one hits it as it's about to come out of the water. That is a clue a lot of times that bass want it really fast. So that's really important to always, obviously, if you have the Mega Life, you can see it. But even if you don't, there's still little clues and things that you can pick up on 
that can really help you to just catch more bass. Just, just a little clue to go faster. Now, the third thing is something that I have really started to do a lot over the last probably seven or eight years of bass fishing because when I first got in, like I, I love to fish offshore. I, I love to use my electronics, but in late summer, I have found a lot of times that the best fishing is actually in really shallow water. It's actually kind of like fishing in the springtime where you're going to be targeting a lot of cover that you can visually see with your own eyes. And I didn't always do this. I used to just be like, hey, I'm in the summertime mode. I need to, I need to focus on deep structure. And that is where I'm going to catch them. Now, with that being said, I'm not always talking about fishing the bank. I'm not always talking about up like on the bank. Sometimes what I found is that, you know, pieces of offshore structure that are really shallow on top. And I'm talking really shallow, like two foot, three foot, really, really shallow up on top can actually be really good this time of the year. And I think it's partly to do, you know, we have a thermocline that develops in a lot of reservoirs and, and that thermocline will tend to kind of push fish up shallower later in the year, a lot of times because it also will rise at times. And when it rises, it really kind of forces those fish up shallow because fish can't really be below a thermocline because there's not a lot of oxygen down there they can go down there for a little bit if they need to and, and pop back up but really they don't like to like be in that zone and so what i have found is that simply putting you know focus not focusing on my electronics and just focusing kind of more on on cover and, and and structure that or cover that you can see with your own eyes can really really be a big deal and i'm gonna give you a perfect example i was at a different lake yesterday and this lake is pretty well known for fishing offshore like there's been a lot of tournaments one fishing off the bank but i had a very limited time to fish this lake very limited time and it was when i got to the lake, like i had five hours i had six hours i actually shot one of those lake break videos for bass fishing hq and i spent some time for a little bit offshore but then i was like you know what i just don't have enough time to devote to this i'm just gonna go start fishing the bank and I'm going to start doing some stuff that I can see with my own eyes because you can just make things happen so quick. And it took me a little time to develop something, but I ended up developing a, a pretty good pattern and I was able to run it and catch actually a pretty good bag of bass. Like I was pretty excited about it for this time of the year, August, it was like a, a bag that would have got a check and a lot of tournaments on that particular body of water. Probably not one, maybe, but probably not. But it was a good check weight. So anyways, guys, those are the three big things. Move around, either go super fast or go slow, and always check some shallow water stuff, even when it is so hot. Oh, side note, it was 89 degree and up to nine. I saw 90.1 on my uh, yesterday when I was fishing. So the fish don't mind that 90 degree water. All right, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to check out that fin fishing gear, and I will see you guys tomorrow.